So in this video, I'll be trying to draw the structures of some organic compounds. The question here says, give the structures of the following compounds. Now for each sake, I'll most likely be giving the skeletal structure of each of these compounds. All right, so you can draw the full structure if you want to, but I'll be giving out the skeletal structure of these compounds. So let's take them one after the other. All right, so the first one there, let's call this number one. The first question there is methyl cyclopropane. So we have to give a structure for methyl cyclopropane. All right, so first things first, um, notice that this is a cyclo compound. That means it should be in ring form. Then you have a probe, meaning three carbon, right? So let's see what we have here. So a three carbon compound. In a cyclic form that should be one two and perhaps um, three here just join this here all right so we have this then to add the material you just have this all right so this becomes the structure for methyl cyclopropane if you want you can still add ch3 here like this but it's not that necessary all right this leaving it this way this would still do all right Question two. Question two here says we should draw the structure for N methyl for N methyl pen pentan N methyl pentan two amine. All right. What's the structure for this compound? Now, for N methyl pentan 2 amine, your structure would be this. Third stroke there. Okay. Have this. Excuse me. And we'll have this. Then finally, we have this. All right. So at this point, have your methyl here. Then we have this. So what I have here is the amine NH here. I have methyl here. So you could choose to put CH3 here if you want to. Um, but this is the structure for N methyl to amine. All right, question three. Question three. We are given to get hexan three all. Hexan 3 all. Now for hexan 3 all, first things first is a hex. So hex means we have about six carbon atoms. Right, so let's get this done. Um one, two. Okay, the third one, three, four, five, then six. So I have six carbon atoms here. One, two, three four five six so six means i have six um that's that's a hex so for the hexan three all you can come here and you go one two three three here so you can just come here come down here and put oh here this is carbon one carbon two carbon three that's if you're numbering this way you could still choose to reverse it if you want to you could still do this way um one two three and put the oh this way that's the correct all right but i'm going with the previous one um let's go with the previous one instead um go with the previous one i would have this part as my carbon three so this gives me my hexan three all this is correct all right now there's something about compounds like this it's still possible if you observe the way i drew my stroke right it was from downwards i went upwards first you can still draw your stroke so let me see all here or you can still draw your stroke from upwards coming downwards first now what i mean is this so starting from upward the upward direction come downward like this so this is one two three four one two three four five then six so i have one two three four five six so 
position 3 becomes 1, 2, 3 here. So I can still come here and put this here and then attach the OH here. So this still works as pentan 3 on. So there are different ways of getting this. This is still correct. All right, question four. Let's take question four. Question four, we're giving two, three, two, two, three, dimethyl, penta, one, three, diene. All right, so I have this. So how do we name this? How do we name this um, compound? First things first, it's a penta, right? Pent means I have like five um, carbon atoms. So let's get the five ready. So I'm having uh, my five. I'm having this is one, two, three, four then five so i have this so this is i'm numbering this one perhaps two here um okay perhaps two here carbon three carbon four carbon five that gives you your penta right right um diene it said one three diene that means the first diene means a double bond or two double bonds per se so one three means the first double bond starts with carbon one and this is carbon three that's where your second double bond starts. So I now have a penta diene. This now they said right, say two three dimethyl. That means at carbon two, there's a methyl group here, CH3 here. Okay. At carbon three, there's also a methyl group. So I have this. Alright, so this becomes the structure for two three dimethyl penta one three diene. Right, if you want to, you could still put the CH3 here. But that's not very necessary. To put CH3 here. That still works. Alright, question 5. Question 5 there. Uh, we're giving the compound ethoxypropane. Ethoxy. Um, ethoxypropane. Alright, so how do we get this ethoxypropane? First things first, we dis I, I discussed this one here in my previous class, right? What we say, first things first, um, the idea will be this, start with the oxy. Oxy means oxygen, so I have oxygen here as my oxy. Right, then I have propane to the right. Propane means, means I, I need like three um, carbon atoms, right? So I have my first carbon atom here, this point here. I have the second carbon atom here, and I have the third carbon atom here. All right. To my left, I have et. Et means two carbon atoms. So I have the first one here. This is my first carbon atom. This is my second carbon atom. So what I have here is ethoxy propane. That's it. Or, or you could still do this. Start with the O here. That's the oxy. Now you have you have a propane right by the right hand side, which was this part here, propane. So you can still come down this way and do this. So even if you do this, um, one, this, and then this. So you can see I have carbon from here. I have carbon starting from here, one, two, and three. That's my propane. Then you had X by the left-hand side. So that becomes something that looks like this, and then perhaps this. So that becomes one and two. So I'm having a toxic propane. So if you look at these two structures, look at what they look like, right? Same thing here. From here I have um perhaps one, two, a toxic. From here I have one, two, three. All right. So this is how we get the structure of this compound. All right, question six. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay. Let's look at question six. Question six here. Max will provide the name for. All right, so question six, you asked to draw the structure for propene nitrile, right? So for propene nitrile, we have CH2 double bonded to CH and then C 
should be bonded to n so we have this as your structure and so this is the structure for propene nitra let's look at the next question there question seven question seven there we're giving two ethyl so two two ethyl three methyl three methyl butane right so i have this two ethyl three methyl butane so first things first let's get the butane structure butane means four carbon but we're having um, okay let me bring this down a bit so for butane i'm having this as one two so i have carbon one carbon two carbon three and then carbon four so when you have so let's let's remember this one two three and four right that makes it a butane single bonded two ethyl means ethyl is attached to carbon two so i can just do one and then two do this better so i can just get one and then so i can just get here as one so i can just get here as one and then two that makes it an ethyl you said methyl to carbon three so this all right so this becomes the structure for two ethyl three methyl butane all right if you want to again you can still reverse this you can still do this this way um here's one two that's carbon one two three and then four you can take here as you can do your numbering as one two three four and still say two ethyl is this so you can still do um this and this that's two ethyl then three methyl so any of these two structures or whichever way you want to go around this still works right so this is your structure for this compound okay question number eight number eight here says boot two ion so i'm having boot two ion so if i have boot two ion it means boot is for carbon so i'm having this as um carbon one and two carbon three and carbon four so i have this so two ion means the triple bond is attached to carbon two so one two three four makes it a boot so for ion it means that the triple bond is attached to carbon two so i have this one here and this one here so to carbon two i have the triple bond attached this becomes boot two ion all right the next one there is two bromopropane so let's get two bromopropane so question nine question nine so we should get two bromopropane all right so first things first propane um prop is three so the prop means i have a three carbon atom alkane that's this so from here i have carbon one two and three so let's let me number this as one two three and it's single bonded so it becomes an alkane so going upward like this two bromo it means that bromine is attached to carbon two so this is the structure for two bromo um propane all right all right so this is my structure for two bromo propane um this can still again breathing us so if you choose to go this way that's this and then this can still call this carbon one carbon two carbon three three see your propane and then you can bring this downwards like this and say br that's still two bromopropane all right our last question here the last question here is question number question number 10 question number 10 here says the structure for cyclopentanol cyclopentanol 
So first things first, cyclo, it means it should be in a round or in a ring format. Penta means five carbon. All right, so let's get five carbon compounds in a ring format. What do we have? Um, so we have this. So we have um, this, this, this part here. Um, this, and then this. All right. So from here, this is the cyclo. From here, I have a cyclopentane. To make this a pentanol, just attach the OH at literally anywhere. You can come here and put OH here. That's correct. You can still attach the OH here if you want to. That's still correct. Or even here. So literally anywhere you attach the OH, it's correct. So what I have here becomes the cyclopentanol. All right. So this is how you provide the structure to all of the given compounds. All right. Okay. Um, so since you cannot draw structure, let me ask you something. So here's your task. Try to name this compound, right? You have this compound here. Provide the name of this compound. You have, um, all right. So this is a compound here. Leave the name of this compound in the comment section. So for what you see here, what do you think is the name of this compound, right? What you have here is actually oxygen, all right? Okay. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video. So hit the like button, all right? Leave a comment. Tell me the name of this compound, this one here, in the comment section. If it's your first time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be updated whenever you have a new class. And finally, do well to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. All right? Don't forget to check out my website. Don't forget to check out my website, www.junaimani.com forward slash courses and you'd see the organic chemistry class all right so you can check there you get access to all my organic chemistry classes thank you and see you in our next class